What's good everybody? It's your boy J-Rock over here at J-Rock Fitness. And uh, I was gonna make a chest and arms day for the um bleh, shoulders and arms day video for y'all, but surprisingly there was a lot of people at the gym today. It's Christmas Eve. I expected nobody to be there, but there's a lot of people there. I ain't hating. That's what's up. People making gains. So instead today I'm gonna make another car confessions, alright? So let's get right into it. Um Today I want to talk about why I personally have a, a cheat day and why you possibly should have a cheat day. All right? So let's get into the video. Um, I have three main reasons why, of course, because I always have three reasons. <laughs> so let's get into, get into them. Uh, first reason why I personally have a cheat day and why you possibly should have a cheat day is that cutting becomes boring, it becomes mundane, it becomes fucking annoying as shit. So uh, having a cheat day just takes your mind off the shit, man. It, like it, it eases it eases the whole fucking process of cutting. Cause again, cutting is annoying. It's mundane. It's boring. It's fucking uh, aggravating. All right, when you're sitting there and got it, you got to make sure you're getting enough protein, and fats, and carbs, and blah 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 blah. Because if you fuck up. All those damn gains that you done made, and it took you so long to get, will be gone like that, y'all. It will be gone like that if you fuck up in your cut. That's why my cut's taking so long, y'all. And I don't care what anybody says. I worked too hard to lose all the damn gains I've gotten over the years. I worked too hard, and it's so easy to fucking mess up in a cut, y'all. It's so easy. So, yeah, that's the first reason. Just to take your... Just to have a, a have your mind at ease, all right. It puts your mind at ease having a cut day. Like you don't gotta fucking be so stressed out because it, it's fucking stressful. You like, did I eat this? Did I eat that? Did I eat this? It becomes pretty st fucking stressful, y'all. All right. All right. So that's the first reason. Number two, why I personally have a cheat day, and why you might should think. Why you should <laughs> think about having a cheat day if you don't have one already. It's because uh, it gets your cravings out the way. It personally helps me be more disciplined. And it might help you be more disciplined as well. Because uh, I know my cravings will be taken care of at least one day out of the week. So during the week, I fucking stay strict on my shit. I eat what I'm supposed to eat. I make sure I'm only eating that stuff. And I don't fucking fall off the wagon and that's gonna be the third reason we're gonna to get to that but my cheat days are every Saturday all right every Saturday and because of that like I said I can stay disciplined and focused during the week eat what I'm supposed to eat and on Saturday whatever I'm craving I let that shit loose <laughs> I eat whatever the fuck I've been craving during the week on Saturday all right so that's the second reason it personally helps me be more disciplined and it might help you be more disciplined as well all right all right and the third reason i brought it up falling off the wagon all right most people when they cut around that two and three month mark they hit the sticky point that's mainly the sticky point for most people and when i never had cheat days before that was my sticky point all right with that second and third month it was fucking so hard <laughs> not to fall off the wagons uh, the wagons it was so hard not to fall off the wagon my friends be eating fries and shit and McDonald's in front of me I'll be sitting there looking at them like <laughs> that's how the fuck I was looking at them when they were eating shit in front of me my family and shit because that's the sticky point that's the that's the fucking the hardest part in a cut to me personally from my experience that second and third months terrible so now I ain't like that I'm not like that at all like I know I'm fucking gonna have a cheat day or whatever they just ate in front of me I'm like all right I'm gonna eat that same shit on Saturday so I'm good before my family used to piss me off because be sitting there eating in front of me and laughing ha 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 you can't eat this now I'm like all right I'm going to eat that shit on Saturday, so kiss my ass. <laughs> so, yes, y'all. Um, personally, having a cheat day has kept me from falling off the wagons. It's been a whole lot easier to cut, to be honest. And um, 
it might be easier for you if you don't again if you don't have a cheat day it might be easier for you to cut and successfully cut cuz a lot of people fucking quit when they're cutting because they hit this that sticky point and they eat a, they slip up and eat a fry or some shit and the next thing you know they're fucking done they're like you know what fuck this cutting shit i'm eating whatever the hell i want to eat i'll be fat for life <laughs> So YOLO, that's what they hit, they hit you with the YOLO, only live once. That's what ends up happening, y'all. So um, if if you're struggling with cutting, try having a cheat day. You might not fall off the wagons. It might increase your chance of not falling off the wagons. It might increase your chance of doing this shit through and through, finishing out your cut and hitting your goal, y'all. All right? All right, that's the video, y'all. Um, to my subscribers, Merry Christmas. Uh, to anybody who sees this video and you're not my subscriber, like and subscribe if you like the content. All right. And also to you, Merry fucking Christmas. And that's it, y'all. That's it. I uh, hope my advice helps you. Uh, I hope my personal experience helps you. If you're cutting and you're not having a cheat day, I hope it helps you. I hope it makes you think, hey. Maybe I should try this. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on myself. And maybe it's possible to still lose weight and have a cheat day. Because it is, y'all. It's fucking possible. I already lost 25 pounds. Over the years, I've continuously lost weight even though I've had cheat days. Because I've been doing cheat day for the past uh, two, three years now. So, yes. Very possible to lose weight. Why you have a cheat day and all these people fucking all you health nuts going oh no <laughs> no you can't yes you fuck you can fuck you and all these people sitting there saying oh well i gain weight just by looking at food so why would i want to have a cheat day that's bad news for me no please stop like you're not gonna gain five pounds in one fucking day of bad eating peeps you're just not it's not physically possible for you to gain five pounds from having one bad day of eating it's just not you might gain a pound, and if you ate a whole lot of sodium and shit, that pound's probably fucking water weight, to be honest. It probably is. So, like, relax, peeps. Relax, okay? You can have a cheat day and still hit your cutting goal, y'all. It's possible. It is possible. All right. Again, like and subscribe if you like the content. If not, you know what I like to say. It is... What the fuck it is, y'all. It is what the fuck it is. J-Rock Fitness. Again, Merry Christmas, y'all.